Joining us today is David Bach. Now, the market has been on a serious roller coaster, and having someone like David available to answer some of these questions is quite the catch for us. He is the Director of Investor Education and co-founder of AE Wealth Management, but you're probably more familiar with David because he is considered to be one of America's most trusted financial experts. He's been featured everywhere, actually, from Oprah to the Today Show. He's the author of nine New York Times bestselling books, including The Automatic Millionaire, Smart Women Finish Rich, and Smart Couples Finish Rich. David, thank you so much for making some time for us today. Oh, it is my pleasure. Thank you for having me on the show. So, David, I know you have been uh, a student and, uh, well, now a professor of the market <laughs> for uh, for quite some time. Uh, this latest market uh, correction, it's, it's, it's far from the first that I know that you've experienced and, and looked at. What's the most important message for investors to hear right now while they're seeing this market bounce all over the place? Wow, that's such a good question because there's, there's so many lessons. I, I think the first thing I would say is that this is very normal. Market corrections, and first of all, what is a correction? First of all, technically speaking, a market correction is when the market pulls back by over 10%. And a bear market, by the way, is when the markets pull back by over 20%. So that's just important to, first of all, explain what a market correction is. Now, the really important thing to know if, if you're worried about market corrections is to know that they're very, very normal. They're like the weather. It's not always sunny. We get rain. We get snow. It's a seasonal thing. And on average, over the last 100 years, markets have corrected about every 13 months. So market corrections are actually very normal. And in fact, a bear market, we see bear markets about every three and a half years. And the one thing I can tell you over history is that every single market correction and every single bear market has actually recovered, right? Every single one we've ever seen, they've always recovered. Now, the reason I say this is normal is because, again, it is historically normal, but what hasn't been normal is that we've been in an unprecedented time of the markets going straight up without any correction. So 2017 was a very unusual year, a very good year. We had very, very very little volatility. And to give you an idea of what I mean when I say very little, let me put this in perspective for you. Until last week, we had 404 consecutive days where the market did not go down more than 3%. The last time we have seen such a calm market goes all the way to back to 1959. So as I do this interview with you, I'm 51. I've been in the investment business since, since 1993. I really grew up in the business, but I've been in the business of both being a financial advisor and then being a financial educator for 25 years. And I've never seen a period of such calm, calmness in the market as we saw in 2017. And also, by the way, the market did nothing but pretty much go straight up. So since Trump got elected, the markets have gone up over 40%. And if we go all the way back to 2009, which was the low of the market, March of 2009 was the low of the markets, we are up upwards of almost 400% with reinvested dividends before this recent market pullback. So we've really had a great almost nine years now. And so the volatility that we're seeing right now, very normal, very much to be expected. It's actually, it's not fun to go through it, but it's very good to actually see this happening right now. It was overdue and truthfully is not a surprise to most people in the industry. We're speaking with David Bach today. He is the Director of Investor Education and co-founder of AE Wealth Management. He is America's most trusted financial expert, and he is a nine-time New York Times best-selling author, uh, including the author of The Automatic Millionaire and Smart Couples Finish Rich. Now, David, what you're talking about here with how the market has been on this, on this tear, especially through 2017, uh, you hinted at something there about emotions, about uh, how this feels for some people. And I think, you know, we know um, at least the, that part of our brain when we're not going through it, right, knows that emotional decisions are rarely the best decisions. But that, of course, is a lot easier said than done, especially if you're approaching uh, retirement and you start to see this kind of, you know, thing happening on the market 
because of the extended amount of time that we've gone without it. What advice can you offer to to help people avoid making those uh, those rash emotional decisions with their money right now? So that's a great question. And, and and last week, somebody who I have followed for decades, who I've learned so much from is Warren Buffett. And Warren Buffett was asked this question. And he basically said, you know, the, the best advice I can give you is over the weekend, don't worry about the markets, go spend time with your friends, go have an ice cream cone. What he's really saying is like, look, turn off the news, right? When the markets get really volatile, even though you might, you're listening to me on the news right now, you're listening to the radio, the best thing you can do is actually avoid the negative news because the news is often designed to scare you. And so if you can just get through the mark of volatility by not paying a lot of attention to the news, maybe not even looking at your accounts, quite frankly, that's going to make it easier for you emotionally. The interesting thing is that the average market correction, the recovery time frame is 109 days. I often tell people, look, it's just three months, basically. On the average market, in less than three months, the markets recover. If you can get through this by not paying attention to the news, you'll be much better off. But the reason it's so important to not get emotionally involved in what's happening is that when people become emotionally involved in the markets, they feel like they need to do something. And typically what they will do is panic and sell everything. They will you know, move all their money from whatever it's invested in. It could be a very well diversified portfolio of stocks and bonds and they'll move everything to cash. And why they're moving it to cash is what they're hoping is they're going to they're gonna basically get out the high, they'll wait for the market to go down, then they'll know the data invest, and then they'll buy at the low. But nobody ever does that. Market timing fundamentally doesn't work. The way you want to invest, especially when you're building your wealth, is automatically investing every two weeks in a diversified portfolio, paying yourself first and leaving it alone. Once you retire or you're getting close to retirement, then it's simply critical that you have a really a financial advisor, a detailed financial plan, an income strategy, and that the money that is in higher risk investments is money you don't need for seven, eight, nine, ten years. If that's the case, there's no reason for you to be panicking. Again, if you're just joining us today, we're speaking to the co-founder and director of investor education for AE Wealth Management. He also happens to be America's most trusted financial expert. In fact, you may have seen him uh, last week on Fox Business. Of course, I'm talking about uh, David Bach, the nine-time New York Times best-selling author of The Automatic Millionaire, uh, Smart Women Finish Rich, and Smart Couples Finish Rich. That's always a good thing to know uh, as well. As we talk about this volatility and the pushback that we've seen in the market, can you uh, can you give us an idea? I know you, you can't time it. I, I I thought you had a crystal ball. Maybe you don't. <laughs> Is volatility here to stay again, though? Here's what I can tell you from experience. Again, if I go back to 2017, it was an unusually low volatility year. And the markets have been on an absolute tear for eight and a half years. So do I think volatility is now back and back for a while? The simple answer is I do. I think the market volatility that we're experiencing right now is going to become very common, especially this year. And I think you need to get used to it. And, and I think it's not fun to get used to it, but it's a, it's a wake-up call, which is actually a very positive wake-up call. Like, let me give you the positive side of this. This is going to help a lot of people who have become complacent wake up. And, and that might even be you right now. You might be driving to work and you haven't looked at your 401k plan literally in years and it's gotten to an all-time high, but you haven't rebalanced your 401k plan. And because of that, you've got now got a 401k plan that's 80 or 90% stock and you might be five years away from retirement and you shouldn't be that aggressive. So this might be the wake up call that you need to rebalance the way you're investing in your 401k plan. You might be listening to this right now and you've got a financial advisor, but you haven't actually been in front of the financial advisor in the last few years because your account's doing so well. And you need to go back and meet with your financial advisor because you need to be looking at, well, how much risk is my portfolio taking? Am I currently set up for the volatility that's coming. You know, if rates continue to go up and we expect the Fed to raise rates three more times this year, you should know what is that going to do to the portion of your portfolio that has bonds in it, for example. So I think that this volatility that we're going through, if you use it as a wake-up call, as an opportunity to learn from it, you can really prepare yourself right, right now very well. Also, the good news is the market is still very close to its high. So there is time now to get into a financial advisor's office and to have your portfolio scanned, have a, have a risk review done where the advisor looks at everything you own and can go through it and say to you, you know, look, if we, if we do have another major market correction that's bigger than what we've just gone through, here's how much your portfolio could pull back. 
And, you know, is it a time for you to rebalance your portfolio? Is it a time to take some risk off the table? It might be. Is it a time for you to have more money in a principal protected security that has no risk if the markets go down? It might be. Again, I'm not telling you to time the market here, but I think it's a very timely moment to be really proactive on where your life is financially, and especially if you're retired, because the volatility is is here to stay. And I will just say this, one of the reasons the volatility I think is here to stay is actually very positive. The economy is extremely strong right now, probably the strongest economy we've seen in 10 years. So, you know, when you look at this economy, where the GDP rate is expected to be 3% this year, where unemployment is, is hitting record lows, you know, we're arguably 4% right now on unemployment. Um, we're starting to see wage increases. The economy is on fire, and it's not just on fire in the U.S. It's also on fire globally. I mean, last year was a remarkable time where 46 countries around the globe were having global expansion together. So it's good in the U.S. It's good abroad. The tax changes that we've just gone through, the entire tax overhaul, we haven't even seen the benefits of that yet hit this year. We'll start to see the benefits of that. So the economy is going to be very strong. And that will lead to more volatility because a strong economy leads, leads to changes. I mean, one of the changes we're seeing right now, for example, is the 10-year bond is almost up to 3%. And so as these things change, that creates volatility. So I do think volatility here is, is here for a while. Very important that you have a good plan and that you have a good planner who can hold your hand through this volatility. David, I know that this is uh, counter to some of your advice on on this, but you've, you're so close to to this. I have to ask the question: Can you explain maybe why you believe um, that you know the market's been on this bull run for so long? What what's causing this recent correction in your mind? Because you nail all those fundamentals that seem phenomenal. Yeah, well, I mean, look, let's so we want to go back and do a history lesson for 10 years. I'm totally happy to do that. Let's go back to the recession. When the recession took place and things got really bad, the markets put everything on sale. Like if I go back to 2008 and 2009, when I wrote Start Over, Finish Rich, I would go on the Today Show and I would go through the basics, like here were basics. The market was down so much that you could buy companies for five times earnings, as an example. So where the banks normally would trade for a P level of 10, 11, or 12, the banks were just destroyed. The, the stocks had gone down so much, you could buy them for you know, three, four, five times earnings. We'd never seen companies trade so cheaply. And of course, when they're cheap, this is when, you, when people should be lining up for things on sale, it's when people are afraid to buy. It's the only, at Christmas time, people will go line up at Walmart and Kmart the day before to get something on sale. But when the markets go on sale, people get afraid. So, you know, in 2008, 2009, the stock markets were put on sale. Real estate was put on sale. You could go into markets and you could buy a home or an investment property for below replacement cost. There are markets where you could literally, the price that you would pay for the home, they could have given you the home for free because the land, the value, what you're paying, you're basically getting the land and the house was free. So that was when everything was on sale. So when the market started to recover, there was a long opportunity for recovery because things had got, basically gotten so cheap. Now, what created the recovery was very intentional. In an effort to recover out of the recession, both in the US and abroad, the governments got involved and they lowered the interest rates to the point where money was free, where borrowing money basically became free. So the Federal Reserve and everybody abroad collectively worked together, governments, which we've never seen this done before, where all over the world, the governments work together to lower interest rates to the point that investors would put money back into riskier asset classes like stocks and real estate. So this has been a very much, you know, if you would say it, um, motivated and some would argue manipulated market in an effort to get the economies going again. And it took a while, but it worked. You know, I think that's the important thing to say is it actually worked. What, what the governments did, what the Federal Reserve did by keeping interest rates historically low got the economy going again. So, you know, it's it's been nine years, but it's been an unbelievably strong economy. And, you know, really, I expect that this is going to be a remarkable year too. Now, that doesn't mean the markets always go higher just because the economy is booming. But this has been a well-earned market recovery. And it's one that I expect to see, um, you know, there's a lot more good news in the pipeline. The, the fact that the markets are actually volatile and have had corrections right now have nothing to actually do with the actual economy that we're living through right now. The economy that we're living through at the moment is very positive. 
nine-time New York Times best-selling author of the Automatic Millionaire, Smart Women Finish Rich, Smart Couples Finish Rich. He is the co-founder and director of investor education for AE Wealth Management, David Bach. David, thank you so much for sharing uh, all of this great information with us today. Oh, it's my pleasure. I really hope this was helpful, and you guys have a great day. Thanks again for having me on your show.